You're watching Fever FM and I am RJ Vivek. And by the way, do you know stroke is a major global public health problem? In fact, in India, stroke is increasingly becoming the main reason for premature deaths and disability. As per World Stroke Organization, one out of every four people has a chance of suffering from a stroke in their lifetime. And that's not all. In our country, around 1.8 million people suffer from stroke and very few manage to reach hospital in time. That's some serious food for thought, right? And that's why we have invited our guest for today, Dr. Shivaji, to talk about this. So, Doctor, please tell us what is brain stroke and how severe is the disease? Thank you so much, myself, Dr. Shivaji Pole, endovascular specialist, Aurangabad, Maharashtra. You know that human body is controlled by the brain and brain is needed continuous nutrient supply, like nutrient and oxygen through the blood vessels. So whenever there is a cut down of blood vessels to the brain, is called a stroke. There are two types of stroke. When there is acute cut down of vessels, like arteries blockage, it's called as ischemic stroke. And when there is a rupture of artery in the brain, causes bleeding, it's called as hemorrhagic stroke. So what are the symptoms of stroke and how to recognize if someone has stroke? Stroke in layman language, we can say it's a paralysis. It's a very life-threatening condition and life disabling condition when it is not treated on time. So always we are concentrating and talking about the time and time for the brain because brain, as we said in the definition, brain needs continuous supply of the blood. If there is a stoppage of the blood to the brain, then there is a paralysis. So common symptoms we can memorize like four words is a fast, F, A, S, T fast. F means if there is a facial weakness, like one side of the face is weak, then you can consider it a stroke. A means arm weakness, means one side of the your upper limb or lower limb is weak, not holding properly, not doing properly, means think about the stroke. Then yes, yes means speech. Whenever there is a talking a problem, Uttering the word is a problem. Many times patient not talk properly. It's a slur speech. Means if we said, what is my name? If patient don't name clearly, it is a stroke. And last is a T, that is F-A-S-T. T means time to rush to the stroke hospital. Because you know, whenever patient is from peripheral part and there is a symptom like this, F-A, that is weakness, slur speech or facial dropping or weakness, then patient rush to the close to the hospital where it is not facility of the stroke. So the T is time to rush to the stroke hospital where all the facilities are there. That's why it's a common symptoms or presentation like FAST. Great, sir. How can stroke be prevented? Prevent, uh, stroke is definitely preventable. As we know, it's has some risk factors. Risk factor like hypertension, diabetes. Uh, today's era, there is a lot of stress related to the, our job and, and working patterns, lifestyle changes. We are using many times uh, smartphones, TVs, all these media continuously watching the TVs and it induces the entire stre stress on our body. And yet it is one of the risk factor for the stroke because it induces the adrenaline catecholamines which causes the hypertension and hypertension raised BP is the cause of stroke. So once you change this lifestyle, there is a reduced risk of the stroke. That's why World Stroke Organization this year said that move your body moment for the body to reduce the risk of stroke. So your body should be continuously moving. When you are moving, your body's actions is going on and that's why there is a relaxation of the body. Blood pressure is normal and that reduces the stroke. So it's a reducible, it's a preventable. And third thing is your diet and exercise. Eat healthy diet, fiber diet and exercise daily. Minimum 30 minutes walking daily is required for a human body to reduce the stroke. Great. Sir. And what are the treatment options available for stroke? Uh, considering the treatment part, we are lucky in today's era because lot of advancements there in the treatment. 
so first we can decide it depending on the time of presentation of the patient if patient come less than 4.5 hours then there is iv tpa injection which causes dissolvement of the clot it break down the clot and maintain the circulation to the brain but many times in india patient most of the time comes late that is after the 4.5 before 4.5 hours then iv tpa if there is a beyond that time there is a newer technology called thrombectomy thrombectomy is nothing but to remove the clot from brain by a device that is a stent using this stent we can go from groin our leg vein or arteries our hand arteries to reach the brain and remove the clot and open the brain vessels and maintain the brain to prevent damage further and prevent the patient from the massive stroke so it's a preventable a very novel technology in today jira for the acute stroke first is a medicine treatment just we discuss that is iv tpa injection but if patient not improving or come late to the hospital then there is a endovascular treatment intervention like the we have to do angiography and remove the clot by device it's a thrombectomy and intracranial angioplasty these are the newer technique and newer te- treatment options sir why is there so much discussion about time when we talk about stroke as we discuss brain need continuous blood supply as brain control our body as we know heart just pumping and gives the blood to the body but who is the power house who is controlling power of our body human beings and that is the brain so it needs continuous oxygen nutrient oxygen nutrients and when there is a for a second or two second stoppage of the blood there is a you know that the blackening is coming in front of our eyes so when there is a cut down of the blood vessels for a 1 minute 2 minutes 3 minutes because every minute 1.9 million neurons are died there is a death of neuron that's why it's a time and brain is a such a organ we can hold for a 5 to 6 or not more than that so up to 6 to 8 hour there is a novel technology we can use and that is needed the public awareness regarding the treatment because neurons are dying every minute they are not waiting for anybody unless and until we open the artery and maintain the blood flow to the brain so timing is very important the recent report says that covid 19 patients have a higher risk of stroke is it true if you can explain yeah it's true and because covid virus it attack the vasculopathy blood vessels it's a recent publication from italy they have published in i think may or june because in the lung affection is more i know but the affection is toward the blood vessel and vasculopathy so it causes the blood vessel clot blockage and stroke and we are seeing now this is the covid state pandemic area going on now we are not post covid it's a covid pandemic but still there is lot of patients coming from blockage all over the body paralysis gangrene mi heart attack these patients are nowadays coming more and more so i said it's 100% true covid status affect the blood vessel and blockage and stroke are more and more thank you sir thank you so much for these great insights uh, doctor i am sure your words of wisdom and experienced medical advice will help a lot of our listeners let's be sure to remember the health tips and practice them prioritize our health above all and this stroke day let's promise to take care of ourselves and the ones around us stay tuned to fever fm thank you thank you sir